Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our anatomy playlist. In previous videos, we started talking about the basics of human anatomy. We talked about the anatomical terms, the anatomical positions, the skin, and the fascia. Today, it's time to talk about the tendons of your muscles. What are these tendons made of? Collagen. Now let's get started. This is part of my anatomy playlist. As you know, your body is made of systems. Each system has organs, each organ has tissue, each tissue has cells. The cell is the building unit of your body. How many types of tissue do we have? We have four types of tissue. Epithelium, connective, muscle, and nerve. Today we're talking about tendons, which are connected to muscles. But tendons themselves are connective tissues. And can you answer these questions about muscles? How many skeletal muscles are there? What's the strongest skeletal muscle? What's the longest skeletal muscle? What's the biggest skeletal muscle? And which skeletal muscle is essential for survival? And what percentage of the total body weight is muscles? Here are the answers. You have 620 skeletal muscles, the strongest of which is the master. The longest is the sartorius. The biggest is your butt. The one that's essential for life is your diaphragm in order to breathe. And 40% of your total body weight is muscle. Here's the lovely muscle fiber surrounded by endomesium. Then we make this lovely bundle and surrounded by perimesium. Then we make all of this muscle and it's surrounded by an epimesium. These three are connective tissue, but the muscle fiber is muscle tissue. What are the types of muscles in your body? We have three types. We have skeletal, we have cardiac, and we have smooth. Skeletal and cardiac are striated. Smooth muscles are non-striated. That's why we call them smooth, with no striation, no zigzag action. Tendons. What's the definition of a tendon? A tough, cord-like tissue. Made of what? Connective tissue. Be specific. Collagen fibers, collagen bundle. What's the function of that tendon? It attaches the muscle to bone, but it doesn't have to be bone. I can attach the muscle to fascia, sometimes the dermis, but most of the cases I'm attaching the muscle to the bone. When your wonderful tendon is reaching into the bone, it perforates some pieces of the bone. These are called the perforating fibers of Sharpie. Just like your muscle is surrounded by perimesium, your bone is surrounded by periosteum, onto which the tendon attaches, your tendon itself is surrounded by peritendinium, which is continuous with the perimesium of the muscle. So the perimesium is continuous with the peritendinium. And the peritendinium will attach into the periosteum of the bone. Peri means around. Osteo means bone. Some tendons are rounded in shape, i.e. cord-like. Other tendons are flat, i.e. ribbon-like. If you want to learn about the periosteum, the epiphysis, the diaphysis, the metaphysis, I have a video about the skeletal system in my biology playlist. Let's review the different types of collagen. You find type 1 collagen in bone, type 2 collagen in cartilage, type 3 is very flexible as you see, so you find it in blood vessels, type 4 is under the floor, which means the basement membrane. Type 5, look at this coiling action, hair, placenta, etc. Now let's take it to the next level. Let's get clinical. There are many diseases that affect tendons. The most famous tendon in your body is probably the Achilles tendon. It is notorious for rupturing. There are groups of medications that can lead to Achilles tendon rupture. These are known as the quinolones which include fluoroquinolones, include ciprofloxacin. This does not mean that every patient taking these medications will rupture his Achilles tendon. What I am saying is that Achilles tendon rupture is more common with this group of medication than others. So let's talk about the history of the patient with Achilles tendon rupture. It's the classic story of the old, morbidly obese, out of shape male who has not exercised in years, who's trying to impress a young lady into a tennis game. While playing intensely in the tennis match, he heard a popping rifle shot sound. <laughs> ah! Then he fell down while clutching his ankle in pain. What's that, please? This is Achilles tendon rupture. Then he will go to the hospital. The doctor on physical exam will find the following. The patient cannot walk and is limping. This area is very tender, which means when I touch it, ah, it hurts and it's swollen. 
and there is a gap there. Why is there a gap? Because there is no tendon anymore. It ruptured, leaving a gap. Ask the patient to move, there is decreased range of movement, especially decreased plantar flexion. Because the Achilles tendon, may he rest in peace, used to perform the plantar flexion because it's the tendon of the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles. So the patient cannot plantar flex his ankle. That's it. You have your diagnosis right now by the history and the physical exam. If you want to confirm it and prove it, do an MRI and you will see tendon rupture. How do I treat it? Cast it in the equinus position. Later, you can perform surgical repair. This cool slide is part of my surgery high yields course. You can learn about tens of surgical conditions by downloading this course on my website medicosisperfectionalis.com. Anatomy and surgery go hand in hand, just like this hand with Volkmann's contracture. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.